question about it. This is um, Fallout 4. It's a rainy day, as you can see. I am Alexander Touquet, international man of mystery. And that building right there um, has some bandits in it. And I'm going to see if uh, I can demo for you a little bit of what this game is like. And I'm going to show you the weapons I'll be using. Uh, maybe. This is the 10mm, which I've been using for closer combat. Um, it's modified. I call her Betsy. And the one we're going to be doing from a distance is Stella here. We're going to be using Stella for that. Stella, as you can see, uh, <coughs> no wait, not Stella. Rachel. We're going to use Rachel. Rachel does 61 damage. Pretty much puts him right down no matter where you hit him. Doesn't have to be a crit. And I'm not really wearing any armor. I have a suit on. Uh, with a bowler hat? No, what am I wearing? Sea Captain's hat. Uh, if you look there, you can see it gives me plus two endurance. Um, maybe here. This is the, um, the where you go to customize your character. It's fairly extensive here. And what I have slowly figured out is that you notice I have no strength at all. When I started this character, I just got a bunch of intelligence and endurance mainly. I think it, and just totally ignored the rest of it. But what I figured out is that these, these probably aren't going to increase very much and don't need to increase very much. What you do when you get more stars here is it enables further and further levels of intelligence-based uh, perks. So Gun Nut requires Int 3. And if you want Gun Nut 2, you have to be Int something else and something something. Alt is next rank. I have, you have to be 13 uh, and have Int 3. Uh, then you have to be 25. And Gun Nut just enables you to make, uh, there are certain weapon modifications of which there are a billion drool-worthy weapons modifications. Stella, I put a bit of work on making sure that I can snipe people. <clears throat> I will, so, my point is that most of the uh, customization of your character happens right here. Every time you go up a level, you get one point. You can spend it here, or you can spend it on anything you qualify for down here. And I am starting to figure out that I'm going to be spending a lot more points down here than I will up here. So agility includes the sneak, so I have tried, I've gotten sneak, and to make the sniper rifle more effective, I've taken this extra 20% here. Uh, next, I think, might be lock pick, because I'm tired of not being able to pick uh, more advanced locks. Easy locks are fine, but and my, your ability doesn't go up as you go along, as far as I can tell. Um, <clears throat> you either can do it per this page, or you cannot do it per this page. So I can pick any novice locks, but I can't pick any advanced locks. So I want to take this. You get the idea. Alright, let's shoot some people in the head. So, I've approached a couple of times now, so I think the best thing to do is to pick off the guy that's on the roof. You can see... Uh, it's not entirely different than um, Skyrim in that I am hidden and it says I'm hidden and there are returns red if I've been seen basically there's some sort of intermediate thing there's my XP bar temporarily popping up so I've maneuvered over here and our target is that broken building over there and specifically 
that poor girl right there is about to die. So, uh, if I press Alt, the cursor stops moving around, and she catches it in the head. And then I believe somebody's going to pop up here. I'm going to miss them because I'm an idiot. That was too quick. When you hear the little da ding, I don't think that indicates just that you've hit them, but also that uh, they're they are no more. So you see, uh, I'm cautioned now. The hidden has turned to caution, which basically means that whether you can see them or not, nearby bad guys are on the alert. Uh, will they find you? <sighs> not this time. <laughs> so on this particular building, as you can tell, I've I've attacked it once or twice before. This is one of the earlier quests, which is all the quests I've done. I haven't done shit in this game, I don't know anything about it. But I have... Oh, I just thought you might like to see. A little bit. About how this game works. So, again, because I've been here before, I know that there's a turret there. That's just an auto turret. I'm going to press ALT. Auto turret no longer there. And back, somebody may pop up to check. Which is what I was trying to do last time when I missed. Because, let's face it, I suck. That's just the reality. There's another turret hidden right there. Again. So I've killed, I think it's two raiders and two turrets, and I don't think that's all. I think there's at least one more, so... Is that him? No, I see cans. For an alarm. I don't see anyone. So I'm just gonna... I know from experience that I've walked around here and nobody's janked me from behind. So I'm just gonna walk around this way. I'm going to see if I can spot anybody through the window, which apparently not. And then I think there's a little bit of high ground over here. One of the things I'm slow that is slowly penetrating my feeble brain is that this game is a lot more vertical uh, than than Skyrim. You can certainly, there was certainly, Skyrim was a 3D environment and you could be on top of things and it's no question. But this game has a lot of, uh, a lot of vertical spaces and um, especially in the cities where the buildings are. And uh, it is really worth it to uh, get up on them and look around. Especially if you're a sneaky, stab in the back kind of son of a bitch like I am. As you know from the kind of characters I used to play, or still do play, in Skyrim. See, now this is telling me I can't I can't fall through there. I can't see anybody. I'm maybe we'll go over there and then I'll we'll finish this building and then I'll end the video. But uh, I suspect that when we get over there, there might actually be somebody there. Um, so what I'm going to do is to sneak and we will uh, flip over to Betsy not that Betsy this Betsy here yes I've modified this gun to be more accurate um, you can modify the barrel the magazine uh, the grip uh, something else and there are a number of modifications for each um, that if you uh, can meet the requirements for. Why can't I jump? It's jumping bad. Feels like I should be able to jump up there, but maybe not. Maybe it's trying to force me around the back where those turrets used to be. I think there's nobody in here and they would have heard me by now. 
Let's see what happens if I hit these cans. Wow. I guess there is, I guess that's everybody. Okay, what was that? That was two guys? Three guys? I can't... That feels a little weird also. It feels like I should be able to hop through there. Alright, well I'll loot it up and uh, then I'll show you the... Uh, maybe I'll show you one more thing. The, uh, I'll show you some of the crafting for the weapons. And then I think... So this is one of the turrets I blew up. Uh, biometrics, vacuum tube. Like I said, it, everything is basically valuable. I, well, it's not that everything is valuable, but you don't necessarily want. But everything has potentially a use. Uh, you can even take... Uh, let me know if you see some copper. I would really like to find some. I've spent a good deal of time looking for copper uh, and didn't find it. Uh, okay. That's Doug. That's the dog. Hello, dog. That's my dog. He's uh, really good at taking all kinds of damage and then uh, taking uh, about 20 seconds or so before he's back to full health. Uh, it is very convenient. Enhanced targeting card? No idea. And up here, this is the roof. And we should have cooking station. Lightweight, tempered. I do not understand in any way uh, at all the um, the armor system in this game it is a complete mystery to me. Um, okay, so here's an example. Here's a safe, and this is uh, an uh, expert safe. Don't think I can pick this. And it says, "Go fuck yourself." So uh, uh, I don't know what the um, what the requirement is for expert. Um, let's see. Here's lock picking. Somewhere in there is uh, expert. Uh, I'd be able to pick expert locks. Wait, I'm not gonna pick box. Where's the lock pick? Here it is. So here's. Oh, here it is. So if uh, control is previous, so I have none. So I can pick novice. And then what? This is advanced locks, then expert, then master. So I'm going to be probably be taking that. So I'm going to make fantastic guns, probably long guns. I'm going to sneak. I'm going to shoot them from far away, and then I'm going to loot their stuff. That's my plan. And I would say that I've uh, pretty much. So there's a quick travel system in this game, like. Uh, in uh, Skyrim and Sanctuary is where we're going to go and here you'll get um, a treat and the treat will be uh, watching how long it takes this game to load anything I don't know why but it's it's a hell of a long time that was that was brief compared to some I don't know what's going on there oh it's a trader I think a trader has come So a quick view. Uh, well, here I'll go here first. I'm pressing uh, R to transfer, and I'm going to press. You see, my weight is 173 of 235. That's on the bottom left, right here. I'm going to store all junk, and this is junk: cleaner, wrenches, aluminum cans, and so I'll leave it on battered clipboard there. And with it on battered clipboard down here, if I were to take it, if I needed a spring or wood, 
then I would be able to have those components to make something. There's a blowtorch. It's if I pull it apart and use it for something, it has its components are steel and oil. So if I needed oil, I could throw this into my inventory, and if I needed to make something that required oil, then I would have it. So I took everything. So I'll show you Betsy here. Maybe I'll show you Rachel. I'm most proud of Rachel. So Rachel is now selected. I have a powerful receiver, and I believe that a powerful receiver is uh, the most amount of damage I can do. Uh, but it shows you the components you can, I can I need in order to make it uh, here. And it shows you here what rank I need to be of gun nut, if any, in order to make it. So some of the receivers that you can make, you don't have to be uh, any rank of gun nut to use, but uh, this one you do. So I would like to be able to make maybe one of these other ones. Superior damage is good, but how about superior damage with better critical shot and accuracy? Yes. Yes, please. But I need to be gun nut too, and that requires X amount of intelligence and uh, gun nut too. I believe you have to be level 13. Uh, this one changes to a different kind of ammo. 50 cal ammo. Uh, I have an aching hard on to be able to shoot, obviously. So that would be nice. Uh, although I don't need it, as you see here, uh, these are one-shot kills with this weapon. Uh, but I am getting an extra 20%. Uh, so that's one of them. Here's the barrel. You can change the barrel. And you can have uh, the long barrel. Range and accuracy. Better recoil. Uh, improved. So this is just firing from the hip. But why would I want to do that? That's not what this is for. I want to use the sight. Short barrel and so on. And I would like to be able to use this, but I don't have any copper. I think I mentioned to you earlier, I went through every... I'm holding every bit of junk. I took every bit of junk. And I still do not have any fucking copper. I don't know what it is that contains copper, but something that I have not yet s picked up, I guess. Um, I would like to have that. I don't know. Superior recoil. Right now. Long porter barrel. Yes, yes. See, all these are gun net one. I qualify to make all these. Well, not this one. But, like, but copper. Where's the copper? I have found copper because I have two. Where the hell's the copper? I have no idea. Uh, marksman stock. So this is the stock. You can see it's highlighted there. And the stock. Um, you can see the different ones I can make. I'm making the best one I can make until I get to level 13. After that, I can make uh, gun nut 2, this last one. So, looking forward to that. These pipe weapons look like shit, but they are fantastic. <laughs> I have no problem with this rifle at all. It's a terrific rifle. You shoot people, you hit them, they're dead. I am playing on easy. <laughs> and the muzzle break, I don't know enough about like muzzles to really say, but this is putting up um, shot recoil. Better per shot recoil. Uh, recoil, I assume, is how quick before it's ready to fire again? I don't really quite understand. And then that here's a suppressor. Um, I, yeah. So, anyway, that's the kind of uh, of uh, modifications you can do uh, to guns, and it applies to. Um, I'm a captain. They applies to uh, some of this crazy stuff. Here's some armor. This is the armor workbench, and I don't understand it in any way. I don't understand armor. It appears to be possibly that you can wear something and then wear something over the top. Like, uh, I could wear leather pieces on the arms and legs, uh, head and chest of this suit. So I'm pressing R again, and so you can see I'm 900 out of 235, and I'm going to press T to store all junk. Now I'm 141 out of 235. So you can see here that the crafting system is pretty well thought out. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. 
except for the fucking copper. Uh, <laughs> I really, I don't, I have no idea. I have to look it up or something and see if I can find it. You know what? I, you know what you can do is tag it, can't you? You can tag for some reason. Like I tagged adjustable wrench for something, maybe for the gear, because I wanted to make something and add a gear. But like, I think you can tag uh, a component. Let me try. Uh, now we're learning things together. Here's Rachel. And what was I looking for? Receiver, is it? Nope, that's got that too. Better barrel. Yeah, here it is. So can I... T, tag for search. So I'm going to... If I see something out in the world that might contain copper, now I would know it. Hey, so there would be, I'd see the question mark again. I wanted to thank you. Yeah, for you're us out in Concord. Um. So that is kind of a handy trick. So I come across. Uh, uh, well, I've pretty much cleaned out all the junk around here, but. Um. Okay, a stool. Well, not a stool because a stool isn't quite the same. See, I've already picked up everything. Okay, there's a trifold American flag. If that contained copper, it would, that little, um, uh, our, uh, magnifying glass would appear on it. So, the crafting system rewards you for picking everything up, and it makes it easy to use, um, when you, it, it makes it easy to, to, to manage. Just go over here. Uh, press T to store everything, and you're done. And then you can just put everything back. All you can, you know, take your inventory to a thousand pounds, which for me is 800 pounds over what I can carry. And you just have to turn around over here, or maybe schlep over to that armor thing over there, assuming I ever figure out how to use it. Uh, and and you have all the ingredients you would need. There's some heavy weapons here. There's the heavy armor, but so far I've just been sneaking around and I haven't been using it. I killed a, um, well, I'll tell you what, that's it. Um, this is a base. It's, it's hard to tell, but this is a base. Um, I have gun turrets set up here. There's another one somewhere over there. There's a gun turret over there. You can see electric light over there. That's because I've made a generator. I've made a radio to attract new settlers. I've put in another generator. I put in a light, and then the connection for the light is right there. Blah, blah, blah. This apparently... Oh, wait. Actually, I've been meaning to do this. Where's the... Uh, where's an idiot? I made beds for people to sleep in. Get up. I just need to trade gear with you. Wait, I don't want to trade gear with him. What do I need to I'm do? I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. Uh, command. That's what I want to do. Command. And then I want him to be here at this. Enter is a sign. So this is a... Did I do it? There we go. So I have a... Uh, now it says the little... It's not red anymore. The little guy that's waving is not red. So, when he, he'll get up and walk around, he'll use this vendor stand, uh, I guess in theory, and make money for me. So, I'll make more vendor stands, attract more ve settlers, they will come down, take uh, care of your gun. We'll occupy take care all, of you. My, all my vending stands, and they'll make money for me. Yeah, that's right. Get out there and work the vending stand, bitch. Is he... I have a pair of glasses on, because I'm smart. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, Bill, I hope I see you on Saturday, and if not, dude, whatever, it's all good. We all have lives. I, I hope I'll be free. I'm, I'm going to be free. I, I mean, unless something comes up, but uh, uh, Nadia's out on one of her adventures, so she won't be home on Saturday, so I should be free. All right, man. Yeah.